All right, just let me just finish off on a general political point. You would have heard about, read about, seen some of the commentary around the CPAC conference of Conservatives in Sydney on the weekend. Plenty of Liberal MPs and former MPs there in attendance and speaking. But a lot of speakers arguing that the Liberal Party's lost its way, that it's abandoned its Conservative values. What do you say to those people? Well, I, I, I reject it, to be honest, uh, Chris. I think Nick Minchin, who was uh, a key figure within the Howard government, uh, nailed it on the weekend uh, in his contribution. He was heckled by some people within the crowd. But, but that, there's an element there of One Nation and Palmer supporters and uh, an extreme right element that, um, frankly, is, uh, is you know, on, on the fringe of the political debate. Uh, the people I'm most interested in representing are the, the, the Howard Battlers, uh, the... You know, the tradies and people that are working hard, uh, that believe in freedom of choice and uh, all of the values that the Liberal Party represents. Uh, I was brought up politically by John Howard and Peter Costello, and that's exactly how I plan to lead the Liberal Party, both in opposition and in government in three years' time. Uh, there are values that, uh, that, that I stand for uh, that, that aren't trendy or aren't, uh, uh, you know, going to fade over time. They're uh, in the best interests of uh, keeping our country advancing forward, uh, the national security issues, the economic issues uh, that we've spoken about, they are timeless values of the Liberal Party. And uh, we, we have to appeal to a broad section of the Liberal Party, uh, a broad section of the broader Australian community. And uh, that's how we're going to win the majority of seats that we need uh, to form government after the next election. Um, locking in 15 or 20 per cent primary vote uh, is a way to keep yourself in opposition forever. And there are a lot of people who offer free advice at the moment, um, Chris, I've got to say, who have never formed government, uh, have been members of parliament, but have never been uh, ministers in the government, let alone prime minister. So, they're, they're, you know, they've got all sorts of theories on how we should win the election. Um, what I want to do is stand up for the values that, uh, that Menzies created this uh, party for and uh, that Howard and Costello and, uh, and other leaders since uh, John Howard have fought for. Um, that's the way that we'll win the next election, and by calling out the hypocrisy of the Labor Party. Um, a lot of people need to start uh, turning their sights on the Labor Party as opposed to, uh, you know, fighting internally. And uh, I'm just not going to tolerate that or stand for it or deviate from the path that I know is right for our party. Well said, Peter Dutton. I don't think you're in any danger of being accused of being woke. Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. <laughs> no chance of that. Thanks, Chris. Peter Dutton there, the Federal Opposition Leader, joining us live from Brisbane. Uh, he proudly says he's in no danger of being called woke. Great conversation there. Thanks uh, for joining us uh, from Brisbane to the Opposition Leader. Let us know what you think of that. We'll include some of your feedback on the program tomorrow night.